good morning and welcome back to my channel today is sunday april 1st i just woke up a few minutes ago and we're celebrating easter today still don't know what are the plans what we're gonna do but stay tuned haven't made the bed yet so that's what i'll do right now Joshua, we call him Joshi. We're going to do a keto low carb mousse and we're gonna do it in the chocolate fudge flavor. We're gonna use this box, the Jello brand pudding, and we're gonna use heavy whipping cream. And right now, he's going to read you the instructions. Make the instant pudding according to the package directions only. Substitute heavy whipping cream for the milk. Use a hand mixture to combine the two. Place the mixture in the fridge for a few minutes to thicken it up a bit and then continue using your hand mixture until you get the consistency. Consistency. Good you like it get super thick and fluffy all right so we're gonna do that and now we're going to speed this process up so all right so it says get two cups of fat-free milk we're not gonna use milk it could turn off it's fine we're gonna use heavy whipping cream mm, yeah thank you all right two cups the whipping cream? Yeah. So up to here where it says two cups. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna pour this into this. The whole bag? Yeah. Yeah, we opened up the right one. <laughs> There's a chocolate fudge one. Pour it all there. Now pour the milk gently. Este? Yeah. You're doing this for five minutes. Are you serious? Yeah, mix everything together. And 
that is the end result for the chocolate fudge pudding. All right, so now we're gonna try out the next flavor and this one is the pistachio. I never tried this one. It looks really, really good. I love pistachios. So let's see. These are sugar-free, fat-free, so they're really keto-friendly. And instead of using regular milk, you could substitute it for heavy whipping cream. Okay, so I noticed that it has little actual chunks of pistachios, bites of pistachio. And it's the same amount, same measurements. This is exactly two cups. So I'm going to use the whole thing. It's really nice. You already start seeing the color. It's already a light green color. Look how yummy that looks. Very fluffy and thick. Oh. Alright, so these are the three desserts that I did for Easter. Good job. Yeah. These are all keto friendly desserts. This is the pistachio pudding. This is the chocolate fudge pudding. And this is a cheesecake with almond and coconut crust. And this one, I already tasted it. It's really, really, really good. It actually tastes like pistachios. This is a very chocolate fudge flavor. It's very rich. Haven't tasted this one, but I have done this one in the past with pumpkin. With pumpkin flavor, and it was really good. Say hi. <laughs> Go uh <laughs> What? Right here. I already said it. What are you doing? Give kiss. Yeah, you. Kiss. Mm. That's your name. Alright, so today we didn't go out to to for the Easter egg hunt, but it was good. We spent time with the family, with the kids, and they got a lot of candy, a lot of goodies. So overall, a good thing. It's the end of the night now, so I'm just going to do a mask. I've been breaking out a little bit, so I just want to detox my skin a little bit. This is the mask that I'll be using. It's the Indian Healing Clay by Aztec Secrets. It's supposed to be a very amazing mask. Very powerful. So, let's see. I'm going to be using some apple cider vinegar. 
I already put in a cup. I'm just using 15 ml, which is one tablespoon. And I'll be mixing it in here in this glass container. All right, so I'm just going to pick up my hair. I'm going to pick up my hair and get it out of the way. So I did not use all of it. I still have a little bit left, but that's fine. I will show you when it starts drying. It's still very wet, so okay. I'll show you in a few. So it's starting to dry and it already starts feeling tight kind of annoying right now because I feel I have an itch around my nose on the top part and I can't get it oh well overall it feels good just a little tight on my cheeks my nose so you can see it's getting dry it looks kind of like reptile all right I'll show you in another little bit So it finished drying and I'm gonna wash it off. It's already been on for 20 to 25 minutes. Left it on for a while. It's already a little uncomfortable. Alright, so I'm just gonna rinse it off with hot water. It's supposed to be you're leaving your skin a little red and that's completely normal. So my face is a little red, but I think it's mainly because you rinse your face with warm water, so to be expected. Overall, it feels very soft, very smooth, and I'll just keep trying it out. 